Guys, I just finished with my run. Uh, I, I'm, I've been kind of following this Earl Thomas situation. I, I don't know about Earl, guys. I, I really don't. Um, at first, I was like, yeah, why not? You know what I'm saying? This is Earl. You know, uh, but yada, yada, yada. He must have gotten some kind of whatever, whatnot. But the further I read into it, it there's some red flags there that I don't like personally. And one of the main ones is the fact that his teammates... His teammates saw his skills deteriorating. His teammates could not stand him. His teammates wanted him out of the locker room. They said he was easily the most despised person in the locker room. And I, if, if, if Earl Thomas has actually deteriorated mentally and physically to where he's a He's a detriment here in your locker room. And as well as they saw that he said, they said they, their teammates were seeing missteps, misassignments, and not only that, he refused to do what he was supposed to do because he's Earl Thomas. You know, he'll do what he wants to do back there or whatnot. So after seeing all of that and hearing all of that, I, I just, I don't, I don't know about Earl. I think, I think rolling with Wood and Dick and, and, and Dix, and I do like the fact that we are loaded with pass rush if we keep the pass rush like it is right now the secondary won't be as much of, of of a problem because the quarterbacks don't have to get out the ball out of their hands quickly very quickly uh what am i hearing about uh practice my boys you know my, my pets um if you were with me during the draft you know i wanted tyler i call him tyler badass but <laughs> but uh, the center from wisconsin i wanted him very bad and he seems to be doing really good in camp. Now, what I think, now what I think, guys, I think if he continues to to show promise, put him there, put him there, because Joe Looney is average at best. And I don't want to say anything bad about Looney because I really like Looney. But this is my point: if Tyler is this much under Looney then go ahead and let him get his experience and let him work his way up. If he can't, if he starts uh, 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 playing poorly and we start having uh, bad performances because of him, then we slide uh, Looney in there to stop the bleeding. But right now, I kind of think we need to see where this guy can go, you know, as far as that center position. Uh, Pollard, I hear Pollard's doing it great. Uh, C.D. Lamb's doing great. So I, I don't have any kind of worry on the offensive side of the football <laughs> whatsoever the defensive side of the football um i i'm just waiting to see how good that pass rusher is alden they say alden smith doesn't even look like he even missed any time in football like where has he been or whatever and we knew how good he was uh that they said everson griffin was making some like crazy moves out there also so i and then you know demarcus lawrence and I just think our pass rush, if, if we, this is our plan. And we used to have this formula back when we had Romo and Demarcus Ware and T.O. and all that kind of stuff. We have the ability to throw points on you. Just keep dropping points on you. Then forcing you to throw the ball on us. Now, when we force you to throw the ball on us, if we can get constant pressure, yeah, you're going to get some yards, but what are we going to get? Some game-ending turnovers as well. And especially with uh, Diggs and Woods, and we got people back there now that can catch the football rather than, you know, love you, Byron Jones, but... <laughs> All right, guys, I got work to do. All right, holla at you later. Peace.